With a nation in mourning, a message of hope and the promise of stability from King Charles III, he now rules over a much different royal family and country than Queen Elizabeth did when she ascended the throne seven decades ago. King Charles arriving at Buckingham Palace today. He left Scotland this morning where his mother died just yesterday. Crowds gathering outside to mourn and celebrate the Queen and welcome their new king. In his first address as head of the monarchy, King Charles renewed his mother's promise to dedicate himself to the nation. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept, and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service I renew to you all today. During his speech, King Charles announced Prince and Will, uh, I should say, Prince William and Kate will take the titles of Prince and Princess of Wales, the same titles he and his ex-wife Diana previously held. As for Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, the king expressed his love for them, as he put it, as they build their lives overseas. He also acknowledged the grieving nation. Already several soccer leagues have canceled matches, workers groups have called off strikes, and Bank of England officials have postponed a major meeting set for next week. Today marked the first of 10 official days of mourning. Lawmakers and the public gathering at St. Paul's Cathedral for, in London for a prayer service. The Queen's funeral set for the 10th and final day, potentially Monday week, but nothing official yet from the palace on the date. The royal family will continue its official mourning for seven more days after the funeral. Even as the citizens grieve, the cost of the funeral is likely not lost on people living in the UK with extreme energy prices ahead this winter and a battered pound making everything imported more expensive. As the British people face their own cost of living crisis, the palace is likely to spend many millions of pounds, but no figures are made public. For the Queen's mother's funeral in 2002, costs totaled more than $8 million, or about 12 mil in today's dollars. King Charles now ascends to the throne, facing growing criticism over just how much taxpayer money is funding the royal family in total. We begin tonight with NBC's Keir Simmons on the king's life and how he may rule. In popularity, Charles still trails his mother and his sons and their wives, with only 11% choosing him as their favourite royal. But arguably, no one is more ready to be king. Charles groomed from the age of four when his mother was crowned queen. As a boy, he was shy, lonely, an average student and no sportsman, calling his school in Scotland pure hell. I, Charles, Prince of Wales, to become your liege man of life and limb. At 20, he became Prince of Wales and began to blossom, hunting, playing polo, a pilot in the Air Force, five years in the Royal Navy, where he commanded a ship. I thee wed. I thee wed. Charles may be best known as the man who married Princess Diana, a fairy tale wedding seemingly doomed from the beginning. And I suppose in love. Of course. Whatever in love means. <laughs> Public opinion of him plummeting after their acrimonious divorce and Diana's tragic death. Ever since, he's tried to improve his image, ultimately marrying Camilla, who will now take the title of Queen Consort. He became the hardest working member of the royal family, founding charities like the Prince's Trust, helping nearly a million disadvantaged young people and championing causes like environmental protection long before they were fashionable. Do we want to go down in history as the people who did nothing to bring the world back from the brink? Now King Charles has vowed to avoid controversial campaigns as monarch, just as his mother did. Over the last months, as her health weakened, he's assumed more of her duties. One of his first expected plans to slim down the size of the monarchy and reduce its financial drain on the public. Still, his biggest challenge may be healing the rift with his son, Harry, after his royal departure. There's a lot to work through there. Now, now as his family gathers around Charles, the eyes of the world are on him like never before. For the news, I'm Keir Simmons.